Alright, hello there. This would be a follow-up video concerning my HS10 Overlord video, if you happen to watch that. If not, I suggest you go check that out real quick. Uh, previously, I had said that Call of Duty is pretty much the same rehash, same old, same old thing. And in the background, you will see Enfield tearing some people up with my friend ODS Pulmar and his friend Green Snake, I believe. Anyway, well, what ended up happening, what I meant by that, I should say, is Call of Duty just seemed to progressively, online at least, it just seemed to progressively get worse and worse but in matter of game speed, hit detection, and just overall how one gun seems to just overpower another. Now, there's absolutely, there's pretty much nothing wrong with it, because in ga in the older games, like Call of Duty 4, World of War, as well as uh, Modern Warfare 2, even though Modern Warfare 2 was broken as all hell, it was as fun as all hell, because whatever was broken in that game, you could, pa you could use and actually counteract it. With Call of Duty 4, there was, you know, the suppressed MP5, with World at War, there was the MP40, but the other guns in the game made it to a point where you could actually combat it. And it wasn't exactly a dominating force because if you had the better gun control, if you had more, I don't want to say skill, but if you had a better understanding of the weapon you were using, you could oftentimes beat it. With games like, with the newer games, like, I mean, look at that right there. I was hit firing, and yes, this is theater, but still, that's kind of ridiculous. This is even more ridiculous. You know, like, how can you allow that in an online FPS? For some reason, I'm not sure the mechanics of it, but the overall playability, I guess you could say, just seems to progressively get worse with new each installment. And this isn't just for, you know, Call of Duty, but this is pretty much for anything online as of late. Call of Duty, Halo, uh, Battlefield. For some reason, it always seems that there is some unnecessary lag or that the hit detection is just not as spot on as it used to be in previous installments. I don't work with computers, I don't know how it could possibly be. It could be as simple as, you know, internet connection or something else, but it just seems too consistent to actually be the, or inconsistent I mean, to be the, uh, it just seems a little too inconsistent to be uh, just the internet connection because of how random it seems to happen. One game will have complete spot on accuracy, every bullet will hit, but then not even within the same match, you could end up having the accuracy go right out the window or somebody takes double the amount of bullets without there being any type of painkiller or juggernaut, they could take the double amount of bullets and end up killing you in what seems to be only two. Now, personally, I feel that's not necessarily host or anything like that, but I think it's too connection strong. The one thing I have to admit, though, that Battlefield 3 did above it, as well as Halo Reach did it, was they had actual dedicated servers. I do not know why it actually... I don't know if there really was a difference, but I can tell you that there is a better gameplay when it comes right down to it due to the dedication because there is real no host was it host advantage i mean this is just my personal opinion on how i see it but i just feel that you know i don't understand why it's so hard to actually get a decent online game in the first place like that but oh good stick caboose good stick um well, this is the end of the video. I mean, if you guys agree, you know, leave a comment. If not, well, please tell me why. This is Spinny Tar Rota, and I'm signing off. Later.